Yo, what is going on everybody? As you guys can see, guys, we are back in the camera for you guys today. Today, we're actually going to be doing a little bit of a different video for you guys today. As you guys can see, guys, we are on Rocket League. I have been streaming this game a little bit. Uh, I, I did only do like two streams on it, but I want to start streaming this game just a little bit more because this game is actually really fun. The game also just went free to play as well, so you guys can play on the Epic Store if you guys do want to right now. Uh, on the Epic Store, it's free on like all consoles and stuff like that. It's a free on PS4, Xbox, and everything like that, and like Switch and everything like that. But um, Today, guys, is going to be a little bit of, of a different video i'm gonna be showing you guys my rocket league settings for so for all the new people that are actually starting rocket league and they want to know like some of my settings that i use that i i don't know just use like, like while playing the game i figured i'd show them to you guys because uh i kind of changed mine up like a lot and i kind of want to show you what i play with and uh, uh what's what's kind of different from mine from the actual default settings so yeah let's just get straight into it guys uh i don't want to waste any time here so yeah let's get straight to it guys let's go okay guys so if we pause the game right now and we go over two options uh i guess i'll just go over for my camera settings first so if you guys do want to copy these camera settings this is what it looks like in game it's kind of like a little bit of a higher view and like a not really like too zoomed in uh kind of thing so guys basically what my camera settings are i'll probably zoom in the screen right now so we got camera shake we have the off because i feel like that just distracts like i don't know you trying to score and everything like that then we go down the field of view it is at 110 because if you go down like all the way to like 90 or something it's really zoomed in so i really recommend that you guys uh put your field view all the way up to uh 110 because it, you can see a lot more and the distance i have is 280 just because i do like um uh what's it called like have my camera a little bit more back so again so i can see everything so that is my distance and then for my height i have it at 100 i don't really want it too tall i don't really want it too like high so i kind of put it almost in the middle but a little bit to the left because i don't want it too tall and then for the angle guys if you, don't, if you guys don't know what the angle is it's basically like the angle of like where the camera's like sitting like behind your car i have mine at negative nine I think I had mine on negative nine, did I? I don't even remember if I had it on 10 or nine, but I think it's negative nine. And then uh, our, my stiffness is just on uh, 50. My swivel speed is on 5.0, so it's basically in the middle. And basically what this does is it controls the speed at which your camera can swivel around your car. So that's basically uh, what I have it as because I don't really want the camera going from the ball and everything like that really too fast. Transition, transition speed, uh, 1.40 again. I just don't really want it too fast. And then inverted sw swivel, I do have that off. So you guys, so when you guys do all those camera settings, this is what the game actually does look like uh, with your car. I think it looks pretty nice. I really like my camera settings. And I'll see if I can try to do something for you guys on the wall right here. Probably like nothing too crazy, but we'll see like that. But as you can see, basic aerial stuff like that. Uh, this is what it looks like when you're on the wall and everything like that. I kind of, I, I really like these camera settings. They're uh, really good for, I don't know, kind of like dri dri uh, dribbling too, just because you can actually like uh, kind of see over the ball, like as you dribble a little bit better and stuff like that. So yeah, guys, let's get into the next settings, guys. And that will be the uh, actual like uh, controller setting. So let's get straight into that, guys. Let's go. All right, sure, as you guys can see, guys, my steering sensitivity is on 6.0. We got my aerial sensitivity then is 7.60. Controller dead zone is at 0 0.28. Dodge dead zone is 0 0.38. And then vibration, I turned that all the way down and I do not have vibration on. And then ball control, I have that on toggle. You always want to keep it on toggle because if you guys put it on hold, then that's kind of like, I don't know. A key thing, guys, is to always have your ball cam on as much as possible just because so you can actually see where the ball is and then when you want to turn it off is when you want to like i don't know kind of like control the ball a little bit more but uh yeah so then our next setting is uh okay that's just the mount sensitive so actually um yeah that's uh, that's basically it for all my um sensitivities and then we'll go actually into the key binds i know you guys probably want to see that a little bit more so let's get straight into that let's go Alrighty, guys so as you guys can see guys drive forward it's simply r2 and then we got drive backwards l2 steer right is uh the left stick of course same as steer left and then jump we have is x and then this is one thing i changed guys boost is usually circle i believe and i kind of changed it to r1 i don't know i kind of just like the feel of r1 a lot better because that's how i really like shoot in like different games like call of duty and stuff like that and i've always been used to like uh, I don't know just using this button for like the main button of the game because the main button in, in this game is basically to like boost and like get your way around the map and stuff like that so I kind of changed it to R1 if you guys want to try it out yourself to all the new people who are actually trying to play this game because I've been playing this game for about five years I'm not the best I'm only champ one but yeah so if you guys want to change your boost to R1 uh, it's pretty good I like it and yeah and then for our power slide guys the same as square and then air roll I have is L1 uh, I, I believe this is the same I'm not too sure if this is the same um keybind but i'm pretty sure it is so my air roll is l1 then we got the focus on the ball which is triangle we got rear view is r3 when you hold it down and then we have air steer right is my left is, is all, all this stuff is on my left stick guys for all your like your air steering and stuff like that like you know left right up and down and stuff like that and then for my air roll right and left i actually do not have those binded yet because i i don't know i kind of i want to try to find some good binds and i also need uh to get used to kind of like 
uh, I don't know, like my aerial control with just arrow because I'm gonna be honest guys, I'm still not the best at doing like aerials and stuff like that. I do feel like I tend to struggle like kind of controlling the ball like as I like roll in the air and stuff like this. So for now, I just have those off. And then once I get a little bit better at, at um, air control in this game, I'll actually uh, put those bind it to something. So those are off for now. So if they are defaulted to something, you guys can just leave it to that. And then uh, we have skip replay as X. We got camera, camera swivel up as right stick. Camera so down, right, left, and scoreboard for me is circle because I changed that with my um, actual, I can't, I don't know, I might change this keybind. Uh, circle is just scoreboard. I might change it to something else because I feel like it's kind of like a waste of a button, but let me know in the comments if you guys have been playing like a lot more than me of what like I should like change to my keybinds. So skip music track. You, you guys don't have to worry about that. And I do have voice chat off in this game because this voice chat is doo doo in this game. If you guys actually heard voice chat in this game, it's actually like really bad so i just have it bind it off so i don't even like have to talk or anything like that and then quick chat is everything all the basic stuff and then we have team chat everything like that and basically this is all the basic stuff actually for just i don't know spectating uh right stick and then that's basically all the major uh key binds that you guys have to know so uh but yeah guys that's basically my key binds for this game i hope you guys did enjoy this video if you guys did make sure to give it a like subscribe if you're new turn on that post notification bell and i know rocket league is still kind of new on my channel so i don't really think this video might do as good as my other content that i upload so hopefully it gets some attention for all the new uh, rocker league players that actually want to kind of grind out this game and try to get pretty good at it so if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to give it a like subscribe if you're new turn on that post notification bell and i'll see you guys in the next one guys peace out everybody